<laughs> and welcome back. Well, Michelle Rifkin thought her acid reflux was normal. It was annoying, but nothing serious. Then she was diagnosed with advanced stage cancer of the esophagus. And today, her message for anyone who gets heartburn or acid reflux. Super important. Please mm -hmm. welcome one of the most outgoing people I've ever met in my life. In fact, she hugged and kissed me <laughs> and one of my children when I first met her at Trader Joe's Bayshore. If you ever go there, you know right away if she's in the yeah. store. Our, our producer, Katie, said that too. She's like, uh, you always know if Michelle's there. Michelle Rifkin, we're super happy to have yeah. you here. And you're Thanks now a board here. member yeah. on this really cool yes. group that we'll yeah. talk about in a second. But first, how are you feeling? You know, two years last week, and I, how do I look? You great. look fantastic. I, I Cancer free. And all in your yes. periwinkle because that's the color and of. Can we talk? And did you notice the nose ring is on? Yeah. Yeah, you've got a. I did that for the periwinkle month. Now I kind of love it. Yeah, you have a, a nose piercing. Yeah, yeah, nose piercing. Yeah. What it's do your turquoise, kids think it's about it? Close to, they, they think I'm crazy anyway, so, you know, it's just one more thing. It's okay. I love it. Yeah, it's yeah. okay. Yeah. Talk, talk a little bit for people who don't remember maybe last time you were on exactly uh -huh. what happened because a lot of people have acid reflux, a lot of people have heartburn. Most and again, do, yeah. they think it's just annoying or they take a little right, over the counter right. to help manage it or they turn out to eat spicy food, but it may be a signal that there's something it's else. The worst thing you could do is ignore it. Yeah. You know, Unfortunately for me, I was on medicine for the 12 years, so I felt great. So and for 12 years for 12 what? Years, acid reflux yes, or heartburn? I, I, for heartburn, acid reflux, GERD. It's, you know, I yeah. couldn't sleep and you didn't get that yeah. burning it. A lot it's, of people yeah. have that, especially as we Everyone get older. Or in it. pregnancy, it's very common, yeah. too. That's because the baby already is trying to yeah, get in trouble. Yeah, because it's pressing on yeah. everything. Wants to let you know, Rude. I'm coming, get ready. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So, you know, when, the problem is when you take the medications, and you can get them over the counter without any warnings on there at all. Mm -hmm. I feel like I just want to stand at, you know, some of those and say, hey, before you get this, you may want to call me. Yeah. But the problem is people are treating themselves over the counter. Doctors are giving, internists giving out the medicine, saying, take this, you got acid reflux. And that's the last you hear of it. And that's the worst, that's a death sentence. Why? Because I was on it for 12 years feeling great, no more heartburn until I felt like I was choking, and then that's when I went and had an upper endoscopy. And they saw I had Barrett's esophagus, which is precancerous, which turned into esophageal cancer stage three, which most people, just so everyone knows, are around, because you don't really know the number, 17,000 people next year will probably get esophageal cancer. Of those 17,000, 3,000 will live. Maybe. Mm, only. That's so only low. Only 3,000 live. Because People they don't find it until later? It's the fastest growing cancer, one of the fastest growing cancers right now. What, what, is, there, is there a genetic link? Is there a, a lifestyle link? No, they link? don't know, but the, the, you really could prevent it. I did not have to get this, except, you know, it's great being friends with you guys. I love coming here. I just wish you'd do it at night. Yeah, me too. <laughs> don't worry. Well, humor would work much wine. better in the evening. I got to stay up on night practically, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Um, so how could you have prevented it? If I, if, well, I couldn't have, but my internist could have. By, you it's know, his he, fault. Her. Oh, her, her fault. fault. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what? The thing is, you don't take a pill without being checked for it. You don't take your heart, me, heart you know, medicine. Yeah, yeah. You know, if you get that, that toe thing, you know, the, the bad, the ugly toe Onion? thing. Onion? No, on the Fungus. nail. Fungus on the nail with the little, oh. yeah. Yeah. You get one of medicine that you have to check your kidneys or liver. Mm -hmm. Okay, for fungus, you give me a heartburn medicine for 12 years and you don't even question me about it. Not one time. You just, so I got in the mail every do? six months. So should someone say like, hey, I'm having heartburn. Exactly. I'm having acid reflux. I want a test done. Uh, the pill, they'll probably give you the pill, see mm -hmm. if it works. And you know, not everyone, let's get this straight, not everybody with Barrett's or heartburn or acid reflux or GERD will get cancer. Mm -hmm. But here I am living 10 minutes from here and I know five people within a five mile radius of me that now have Barrett's esophagus. No way. Well, yeah. and what's interesting is you felt better on the medication. Yeah. But just oh, you because you great. feel better and the symptoms go the away or drastically still improve, it's matter. still doing that to your esophagus. Right. right, you don't know unless you get it checked. Okay, so congratulations to you for Thank being you. Um, on the ECON board, which e stands ECAN, e which stands for Esophageal Cancer Action Network. Okay, and we have pictures of you looking so gorgeous with your husband. Aww. I bet you were excited. You're a great oh ambassador God. for this. You're loud. I, I yeah, I'm the you know I'm the, I think I'm pretty sure that's why I got the cancer. Bless you. Thank you. Bless you too. You're okay. I'm allergic to cancer, so I'm glad it's, it's gone. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> you know, it's a little windy in here. I gotta tell you, I'm glad it was It gets cold. Yeah. <laughs> Well, you know what? This was our, uh, that was me the day after, and there I am um, in my ECAN jacket that I got in front of the, I was in Baltimore, that great fountain there. Don't ask me where it is. How'd they really know don't. about you? 
Um, actually, uh, Mindy, the um, CEO, president who started this, I, Mindy, don't be mad, but I think it's about six years ago. Um, her, unfortunately, her husband died from esophageal cancer, yeah. so uh, her kids lost their father, and she lost her best friend, her husband. And we got, uh, someone put me in contact with them, and I, I somehow just wrote to her and said, you know, I called her, I can't really remember, and when she just called me, and then we met at a fundraiser here in Pewaukee. You had um, Elise on here. Yep, mm -hmm. remember and, that. Yeah, because I had to get another biopsy that day, but it was, I I remember. was okay. We're going to give people the website for ECAM, but and can companies and people email you personally as well? I want everybody, but they need, yeah, everyone needs to know one thing. April is esophageal cancer awareness month. Mm -hmm. It's Periwinkle, Paint the Town Periwinkle. This month, we have an anonymous donor that donated $25,000 for a match program. For every dollar we right. get, he'll give us up to 25000 And that's through the end of this month. And how you need right. to take advantage of that is by going to ecan.org. Through the end of this month, your gift will be matched by this generous Dollar owner. for dollar. And my goal is one day be sitting in, you know, like having the baseball players, or I want them to wear periwinkle. Yeah. Yeah. It, the, you know, cancer has many colors, mm -hmm. and we all need help, and we all have families and friends that want to keep us alive. And, you know, I one day want to just be in that booth where the announcers yeah. sit with my periwinkle outfit. Yeah, yeah. I like Thanks it. Trader here. Joe's yeah. is lucky to have you. Yeah. Don't forget oh, when there's, there's no parking, that so you got to come oh, out and, and yeah, help me find girl. stuff. <laughs> oh, yeah. One's red and one's She comes one bearing white, gifts. And and I forget, love it. Thanks, Michelle. Pat, in the first night of Passover, put in the break room. Have your matzos. Have your ma matzah. Oh, matzah. Well, it says matzos. Well, that's because you're not Jewish. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Great to love see you. you. Thank you, you so much Thank for you. being really here. You can kiss me later. All okay. right. Come